I say, oh, it's another morning And even though I seen yesterday You forgiven my ways this morning So before I go in these streets I sit and I pray But please show me I Give me peace and some open eyes Yo, welcome back to another segment of Diosa's Therapy and Sessions. And of course, I'm Diosa. And today, we have someone so special co-hosting with me, the marvelous sister, Gina. Gina. <laughs> We're doing this one today together, okay? Requested by many people that want to see us do things together, and <laughs> as we always do. But today, we're going to give you a little more of us together with the presence of someone so today's segment is is it's gonna be a little touching because it involves someone that we grew up with that someone that we definitely call family because as we know family is not just blood but the people that show you the love the people that actually treat you as such and this amazing person decided that he was gonna pour his heart out today. It's a, it is a difficult subject to touch for many people out there, but it's so relative, relative, like for, to so many people. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy his story, his journey. And of course, as you guys know, all I like to do is pay it forward. So this is the reason why I'm doing this reality podcast. Because here, as I always say, we try not to edit anything or whatever because it's a reality of it. I want, I want you guys to see the natural us until we actually get a reality show. Okay, so it's a law of attraction. I'm attracting it because it's gonna happen soon. Stay tuned, but in the meanwhile, back to this. So, are we ready, honey? We are ready. So, tell them, tell, tell them, who are we introducing okay, today? So, guys, we're gonna be introducing, as we said, family for us, like a brother. We've known him since we were like yay big. <laughs> um, his name is Michael Alvarez. And he's gonna be coming in, aka Mike, right? Mike, Mike. That's what we call him. That's what we know him as, Mike. But my his name is Michael Alvarez. <laughs> he's a brother to us. He's a family member. He's a a dad, a cousin, a everything, everything. He's just so special and important to us. And he's gone through so much at such a young age that I said, hey. We need to, this is something that you went through, but it's not something that you should be ashamed of. On the contrary, this is something that we have to put out there to the world because the world's got to know what you've been through and how you still have like this energy of fighting. How do you still smile? How do you still make jokes? Because he's a man of many talents. Yes. No, the guy is a comedian. He's a rapper. He's yes. a musician. He's a yes. percussionist. He... I'm telling you, I mean, and, and usually that's that's what our family's like. I mean, it's not our fault. We're just a little bit of everything. You know, we're the whole orchestra put together, including the, what's the person? Yeah, that person. The, the one? The maestro? The maestro. I don't know. Well, anyhow. Anyhow, the point, the, the what? The what? The, the poser. Composer. What? Uh, whatever. I don't know. Let's, we don't know, but he's a little bit of everything. <laughs> we're delaying the process. Okay, so we got, as you know, we got really ready for this because okay. This, this is a movement, okay? This is a movement, this is a stepping stone where we're, we're doing things that a lot of people say, oh, you know, the bad stuff, let's not really talk about it, let's not whatever, but the bad yeah. stuff is what I think we need to talk about. Absolutely. Because that's the only way we get to learn. pay it forward and we get to have better people in the we world. We get to learn, you know what I mean? You sharing your story, I'm sure that there's gonna be people out there, young people, you know, coming up that are gonna say, hey, you know, let me relax on this really yeah, everybody quick because, got a story. you know what I mean? Exactly. Everybody got a story to tell. And so. today, we're here to tell his story. So, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to start by asking you, we're going to ask you a few questions, you know, and we're going to elaborate on everything else. I want you to tell me, be honest, be sincere. This is not about 
Say whatever you want to say. Express it in whatever way you want to express it. We're English, Spanish, Yoruba, whatever it is. <laughs> you put it out there, brother. <laughs> so, I want to know. So, and first off, because we didn't even we didn't even pick a, a subject for this segment, actually. Mm -hmm. We didn't we didn't pick a title, and we're we about to do that right now. We're oh, about okay. to do that right now. Okay. So this this today's segment is called. Breaking out of prison. Okay. We're going to put it out. like that. Breaking out of prison. Why? Because, no, he didn't break out, guys. He didn't. <laughs> it wasn't like the movies. I wish. I wish it was because we have, we, we, I would have been making a movie with him, which we still are in the future. But yeah. the reason why breaking out of prison is because that was a breakthrough for him. That is what today has him where he is today, where he's at today. That's the reason why he's such a goal getter. He's still stri thriving. Thriving. Stri Absolutely. My English is not very good looking sometimes, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't judge me. Don't judge me. It's okay. But due to all of this that he went through is, for me, part of the reason why today he is so much smarter, so much stronger, and has so much gana de vivir. How, right. how, how do you say that? Yeah. So much like uh, wanting to live, you know, life, so, life, purpose. so much life. Right, you know? right. So he purpose. he has a purpose. He right. found a purpose because Absolutely. a lot of us need to hit ground bottom in order to realize what the fuck we really about. Right. You know, right. and it happens. So we're getting through. We're we're, we're starting. Let's okay. Go. First question I have for you, my brother. Come on with me. All right, <laughs> Mike. You were in prison, correct? Yes, yes, you were. You gotta, you gotta speak up a little bit because yeah, I want my yeah. people to hear you. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was. Okay. So he was. Yeah. So, the very important question: How did you end up in jail? Well, you know, my mistakes. You know, my way of living. My, you know, I got caught for a, a case where you know drugs were involved, guns were involved. So it was like a robbery. Okay. You know, the robbery going wrong because at the end of the day, it didn't go according to plan. Okay. You know, because everything was portrayed to be pretty, but the whole time, an individual I was with was just painting something because he had a goal and a motive. He had to accomplish. So one thing led to another, and um, I ended up in a federal prison. Okay. So you got caught. Ah. Basically, basically, yeah, because if you know, they don't need to say, but you still get caught. Yeah, right. exactly. Right. You can't beat that. Right. What comes up must, must come down. Come so, down. Yeah. Alrighty. So, how long were you in there? Fourteen. Fourteen years. Yeah. What? How old were you when you got in? 21, 22. Mm, 21, 22, okay? Yeah. Basically, your whole 20s, and then you didn't get out till? How old were you? 35. 35. Yikes. Yeah. So you did a whole 14 years. Yeah. Ouch. Did you feel like Akon? I mean, no, I you wouldn't sing that all the time. He that was, would be my. He, was, he wasn't locked up though. Oh no, I know, but I was still sick. Yeah. <laughs> when he made that song, he wasn't locked up. I was. Oh, you see, there you but go. But I felt his pain. Though. I know you did. Because, um, that's a situation. Okay. You know, it's not. It's it's not a pretty situation where you don't want. I wouldn't pray on nobody. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. Okay, but when you were actually doing what you were doing. Did you, by any chance, think that you were doing the correct thing? No, I knew I wasn't doing the correct thing. Okay. You know, let's let's keep it real. Okay. I mean, I had to do what I had to do. You okay. Know? Um, any real man that wants to provide for their families, I feel like they're gonna go do what they're gonna do. Okay, so you had a purpose, is what I hear. You had a purpose. I felt like I was, you know, in a situation where I had to be the man of the house and. I had to go do what I had to do. You had to resolve something, and maybe it wasn't the correct thing, but... Yeah, but at that time, it was just the mindset, and by any means necessary. Mindset. Which is very normal, because that's what humanity goes through. That's yeah. what we go through on a day-to-day. -day. A lot of us, we want to provide, we want to do this and that, but we look for the easy way out. Yes. 
because we get desperate and we, and we need this now. Especially and at a young age, 21, 22, mindset again. Mindset. Yeah, it's a different it's mindset. Not, exactly. You know what I mean? Um, sure. So this is, this is a very important question, brother. How did you feel, okay, when the judge sentenced you? That day that you were in the court and the judge said, guilty. Mm. How did you feel? Hey. What was going through your mind? That's a good one. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get you. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm, I just wanna let you know that's a good one. You, but we you wanna know. know. We, it's, all it's, wanna, we all wanna, wanna know. know. You wanna know what? <laughs> I feel like I died that day. I feel like I was dead. Like I ain't, I thought to myself, damn, I'm still young, I ain't really, I should get a slap on the hand. But when I heard them numbers, and they don't say numbers in, in years, they say numbers in months. So when you hear 180 months, you be like. Oh my God, knowing that 12 months my, is one year. Plus an additional, you know, 60 months in your life. Oh, Dang. Lord. And then when, you know, that's not, the hardest part is just looking at your family. Oh, God. At the same time, yeah. feeling the same pain you feel. Oh, God. So it's like, you're hurt because you, 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 you feel, feel dead, like but now you feel even worse because you, you got to turn around and face your family. Mm -hmm. And they got to sit there and listen to you mm -hmm. get that time. It's, it's, it's painful. So, so you feel like you did, like, you feel like, at that moment, any man feel like he'll let his family down. You know what I'm saying? He'll feel like he let his family down, but you know, he's gonna chunk it up because at the end of the day, he's still gonna feel like I did what I had to do. So now you so gotta man up to this and just, you, you make know? your bed, you lay in it. That's yes. reality. This is just too much for me. I need a drink. Yeah, I, think I, I, I need a drink, drink too I because mine is getting watery way heart. too soon. You know what I mean? Let me do it. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No, because my my throat, my my heart is. I'm hyperventilating. I'm listening to this. I'm trying to talk. I don't know if y'all see me. I'm like, but right now I can't react. I'm like, this is my podcast, but I'm like, <laughs> we doing it like the fancy, but we can't drink too much. Just we tip. can't drink too much. Yeah, just no, a but, tip. But what was that though? <laughs> my just God, yeah, just I understand, that. but but this is no we gotta do like the wife. But you, no, just my God, put no, 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 put the pig up. Put the pig up. All right. Pig up and just okay. chill. Wait, wait, wait. Just, gotta chill. I mean, okay, I understand. Maybe they served Listen. you like this in prison, but you are not. Hey, you you are not open up. I learned how to be conservative. <laughs> okay. Okay. Listen, we be we conservative. Gonna, I, I, I want to make a, a special cheers and a toast because I'm proud of y'all, too. You know, y'all did a show. You, make us you know, this is a podcast that I'm very happy that y'all doing this. You know, we're going, you know, we going up. You know what I'm saying? Because when you go up and you blow up. We all go we up. All up. <laughs> <laughs> we all blow up. We all blow up. Okay, y'all the only one making money. <laughs> I don't we care. It so I don't even care. Y'all come on. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Okay, yeah. okay. Cheers. We have family in the outside. Okay. Hey, Cheers. One time, one time, one time for the for the my, my girl Eileen on the on the, on the back production with the camera. Woo! Thank you. Yeah. Shout out for the sister. You know who it is. I think yeah. she in the back. Yeah, we is, got other is. people out there in the crowd cheering, yeah. rooting for us. Yeah, we got my man. Ooh. Out there in the okay, crowd. but I needed that sip though. Thanks for pouring me the sip. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, took. Uh -uh. I mean, uh -uh. but I needed me the sip. Uh -huh. All right, let's get this going. Let's get this going. Okay, so brother, do you feel pain from the crime you committed? I mean. At the time, you know, at the time, you don't feel no pain. It's, it's, it's like a jungle at that moment. You, it's either me or it's either them. Right. right. So at that moment, when you're looking at family situations, and it's either I'm going to let that, either, no, I'm going to go get that. Is it the right choice? No, but at that moment, a right. time of destiny, you know, you know, you desperate. You you seen situations that that got you up against the wall. So you gonna do what you gonna do. 
So at that time, you don't feel nothing, but just I gotta go get this. I'm going forward. Yeah, I'm gonna go get this, and it's you know, like I said, it's not right. Right. <clears throat> but that's the human mind. Now let me ask you this: Did you think about the possibility of going to prison? Like, did you think, you know, while or before, like? Yo, what if this turns out bad and I'm like, always, you know, in this life that we play, it's always a 50 50. Okay. Thing. Okay. So you, you knew you were taking it. your risk. I'm, yeah. It, it, so you weren't completely aware what could have happened. It, or did you, it, like, really kind of think, like, nah, it's you know, not going to be like I'm, that for I'm me? I'm going to explain that to you. Okay. Yeah, when you're in a situation like that, you always going to think, damn, what can happen? But if you're in a situation that you know what you're with certain individuals mm -hmm. that you know that they think that you swear in and out that you can believe inside that you know ain't nothing gonna happen, ain't nobody gonna fold, ain't nobody gonna nothing, you will never think that the last person that you really, really thought would be the one to take you out. Which is which this talks about trust issues. As this well. is Definitely. this is one of the reasons why you have a lot of people out there and they say Definitely. in order to trust I got to get to know you I got to I got to I got to some something about you's got to give me a vibe in order for me to say I trust you Definitely. and in reality what you need to trust somebody is nothing absolutely yeah. nothing but the world has came down to this because of this because of the people that are supposed to be in it to win it with you are actually the people backstabbing you and doing the sneaky shit. But I'm going to keep it real with y'all, man. You know, shout out to the real ones, though. You understand? Because yeah. they do got real ones. Yeah, so for sure. Shout out to all the real ones. For sure. Ones. <laughs> you, know, you like it or not, shout out to all the real ones. Hey, yeah. they might be, they yeah. might <laughs> just be a lot of more yeah. bad people than good people in the world. Well, definitely I don't know. But yeah. there is. But, but there, there is. is some good. Yeah. But there is some good people <laughs> out there. And some people who have, like, you know, that. Definitely. That. What do you call it? Like the faithfulness, right? That they're faithful and real to, to loyal, loyal, loyalty. loyalty. That's because that's, that's the main word. word. That's the word. loyalty, and yeah. some of us do have that, which is the reason why we decide to do this and pay it forward. Because this young man right here, he could be hating all those people, and on the contrary, conversations that I have with him, he's like, nah, like okay, for example, do you hate those people? Do you hate the people that did you wrong? Or do you, how do you feel about you know, those people? I'm gonna be real, like, I went in, I see how I went in, and I seen how a lot of people that I thought, you know, that was my team, let me down. Mm -hmm. As far as, you know, death before this honor, you're supposed to be in my corner, good or bad. But when you see that, you know, certain individuals from your team that you kept it a hundred with just turn your back, drag you through the mud, talk about you, you know. At the end of the day, you know, I ain't God. I ain't going to judge nobody. I'm going to let God deal with you. Yes. Amen, Amen to that. You know? Amen to that. That's what I always say all the time. A lot of times... I talk to my own sisters and everything, and I'm like, you know, I actually thank everybody that has done me wrong. Whoever has harmed the motivation. me. motivation. What? <laughs> what I say today is thank you. Yep. Thank you so much for all of that you that tried, you did. You tried throwing dirt and flowers grew. You know? It's, it's just like they flowers <laughs> grew. <laughs> exactly. Because at the end of the day, it's not about a, the a blaming or pointing fingers. No. We have some fault in it too. Absolutely. We always have some fault Absolutely. in it too. It's because exactly. the, red, the red flags are always there. Yes. The red flags are always yes. there and we try to do this. Yes. And we try to do this. Oh no, that's why. And then when it happens, it's like, why did this happen? Oh my God, I can't believe it. You can't believe it because you don't want to believe it. Because yeah, the, the red flags were there and we just, we, we're ignorant we just, to that. Yeah, we no, we, no, we, we saw we, it, but we, we didn't see it. Okay, so brother, I have to ask you this. Do you feel any pain from the crime you committed? I feel the pain of leaving my family. Because at the time of the moment, you're not, you're not feeling no pain about the crime you committed. Because you're going out there to do what you got to do. Because you got to feed yours. So. Yeah. And, but that was then. You're telling me how you felt in that moment. I want you to tell me now. 
You already committed the crime. It already happened. But do you feel any pain in that that you actually went, the fact that you actually went through all of this or whatever, how, do, how are you feeling now as far as that? Like, are you still feeling that hurt? Are you still feeling, is that, is that stopping you from acquiring certain things, from getting to certain places? No, nah, it, don't, it don't affect me in those type of aspects as far as going to reach my goals or whatever. It just affects me emotionally. Right. You know. Which is normal because you're I was human. away from my family. Right, exactly. you think of the lost time. You know, and as birthdays go by, Christmases, right. Halloweens, this, that, even Valentine's Day, to be with the women that you love, is that's, that's, that's the only... You see, and then that's what I wanted to get to because that's kind of what it's about. The, in, in life, I mean, you, you lose time. A lot of us have, have lost some type of time. Some of us, for certain things that we want to do now, we say, oh, it's too late or we're too old or, or we're too whatever. But it happened. That all, of, all of that happened because of a reason. Everything has a root. So then the reason why I'm asking you this is because I want people to see a different version of someone that went through something painful, that went through something hard, harsh, that went through something crazy, because it is crazy. Being a prisoner is no fun. I, I, I don't care what it is that you did, whether if you committed or did not commit the crime, being a prison is losing freedom, and not having freedom is not a thing. So then, the reason why I ask you this is because there's a lot of people out there that even though they did this, okay, what you're saying makes sense. You're saying, yeah, you know, the pain that I feel is, damn, emotionally, because I lost this, this, and this. But you see, you're not actually saying, I'm walking earth right now feeling like, oh, I don't fucked up. I don't whatever, no. Because uh, what I'm seeing is that you learned, you learned from, from a mistake. You yeah, get it? It's a life lesson. We all learn from mistakes. You right. Know, people don't understand that. You gotta hit the wall. To. Or I you're mean, supposed to. Because that's everyone not does. everyone understands that. That's why that's why we're doing what we're doing. Because right. a lot of people are seeing it like, my God, what I go through so much. Why am I See, going through it? I'm tired. You have to learn from your mistakes. That's like being a kid. And he's going to grab something that he ain't supposed to grab and you hit him. Don't do that. You gotta learn from that to not go grab that no more. That is true, right? You know what I'm I mean, saying? So you gotta that's hit the true. wall at the age of Either you listen to, you know, your guidance of what, the, who, you know, they're trying to give you, or you, they're going to let you hit the wall so you can yeah. learn the hallway. Right. Right. And um, that's how it was, you know. Okay. So learn the hallway. So, I'm going to ask you this, you know how, I, you know how, I'm, yeah, <laughs> you know how I'm doing already, okay? I know, I know. I know it's I'm going to bring you a little bit back again. I want you to reminisce, I okay? Know. That day, you already got sentenced, you know, guilty. Okay. When they actually took you into where you were going to be, when you actually noticed, oh, shit, I am locked up, okay? I am no longer free. What went through your mind? Like, how was that for you? I can no longer go to the gas station whenever I want. I can no longer just, you know, go ahead and, and go to a club or go to you know, a lounge and drink a beer. I can no longer just take a walk in the park. Like, you said, you you miss him. I miss him. What I miss? That boo thing. Oh, hello. Oh, hey. 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 Time. You imagine what, how you did know, it feel when you, you knew that you, you couldn't spoon that you, you right now you, know I mean? you got men out here right now that don't let their women call them. <laughs> they call yes, the women and be like, man. I'm on the way. Ooh, you ain't got to call me. I'm on the way. <laughs> I got one like that. And, 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 yeah, and it's good. It, I, I, you know, I see them out there. I see them. Out there. <laughs> you know, but it's, that's the way it's real because not only. Yeah, that, that's something that is part of a man, Adam and Eve. That's true. Right. right. But how did that feel? Like when when you actually was like, <gasps> I was destroyed. I was destroyed because you know 
all jokes aside, yeah, the woman and everything, but when you lose everything else, right. family, right. freedom, right. everything freedom. is like you destroy. You feel destroyed. You know, and you so. know, in a way, I, like, you know, I give you props because, I, I, you know, as I, I've said, like, it's it's hard. Like, you know what I mean? Like, to not actually, like, come out there, like, you know, fucked up in the head. Seriously, like, you know. Yeah, we there, know a lot. You know? Let me tell you, I know a lot of people, close people to me, that then actually less time than you have. I'm talking about 10 years, and they came out a different person. I'm going to give you, you know. The real, the only reason I made it through, you know, not being it because I was a warrior. I was, I'm a soldier. Yes. But I did it my time, and I had the strength to do my time because of my family. Yes. That's what kept me up. You had a motive out there. Even through the trials and tribulations of, you know, things that transpired in prison, you know, you know, things that happened. Yeah. But I still managed to, my family still managed to help me survive that yes. journey. So I got to give them more the thanks because yes. you, you ain't there with our family, man. You ain't got nothing. But you know, it's funny you say that. You know how many people also have lots and lots of family and they don't make it to how you've made it? Yeah. There's a lot of people, many, many. And their families go visit them and they're whatever and they they don't get there really you really didn't do it because of your family it was all still mindset you 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 yourself you had a motive i already know i let them down and you because you know how many people out there go i mean <clears throat> i have a very 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 close friend right now that he I, at this point i just think that he really loves being in jail and that he likes it more than being outside at this point because it doesn't matter mom dad family we'll go visit we'll go we're here for you or whatever and not everyone is capable of surviving such thing because they're not strong enough now Absolutely. now i respect that i, I hear what you're saying yeah, you can do time by yourself. You know, you reach a goal, you say, I got to make it out of here, and I got to do what I got to do to make it home. But when you go to look, if you're in that position, every man that's been in that position, the only thing they do or think is say, I got to do what I got to do, stay out the way and everything, because I need to make it back home to my family. Family's everything gotcha. in there, man. Right, absolutely. So you got a motive. Right. A motive to, is to get out. Absolutely. Right. But your family gives you that strength that to try true. to fight your motive right. to get true. home. That's right. true. Because that when you got family out. telling you, my your a mother's telling you I need you home, sisters telling you my brother I need you home. Maybe if you got kids, yeah. daddy we need you home. That gives you motivation. Right. I agree with you, you one hundred. So I'm only saying your, this. That's your. That's your. That's your motive. Exactly. So everybody but got a motive. Definitely, but you have to. Everybody does have a motive. Everybody I just told you that. Right. Yeah. But I clearly said not everyone is strong enough to no. actually keep that, instill that no. in your head. Like, okay, you know what? No, it's my family, and I did this, I and I and I messed up. Because right. on top of that, the best thing that you've ever done is accept accountability. Accountability. When you can actually say, "Yeah, I did that." Damn, I let my family down, but I deserve it. Huh. Not a lot of people can do that. Right. Trust me, not a lot. Right. A lot of people, a, a lot of people don't like, don't even like being told when they're doing something wrong. Right. And when you catch them, they be like, mm, "That wasn't me." That, that, what about what, what? What about Rudy? Yeah. In that as, in that aspect, there, when you're in a situation like that, it's like you make your bed, you lay in it. Right. Do a lot of people believe in that concept? No. If you make your bed, you gotta lay in it. Right, but right. some people don't believe in you make your bed, you lay in it. Some people be like, I'm going to make this bed, but hell no, nah, hold up, I ain't going to lay in it. Right. <laughs> and somebody else is going to lay on it. Right, yes. right. So that's, that's what this is, man. Okay. You're a father. Yeah. Right? Yes. So how old was your daughter when you went in? How old was she? She was one. She was one. Wow. And you told me you were sentenced to how many years exactly? 
15 years. So you were sentenced to 15 years and you did 14. 14. Okay. And you I'm guessing you did 14 on good behavior, right? That's 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 how it was. It's it's something like that. I don't I don't know. You you got to you got to let me know. Let me in on this cuz I I've heard it all the time like, oh, they give you like 50 <laughs> years, but then no, on no, good no. behavior they they give you like 25. No, no. I don't know. Let's just say 85%. That's what they do with it in the system. Where I was at. Okay. You know, so if you get in trouble, you're going to lose good time. Oh. Wow. So. So if you get in trouble, you do the time. Like the whole time. You don't lose time. Because you definitely get good time credit for every year. It's a certain amount of days they give you per year. Got but it. it's like you got to behave and get that time so you can be home sooner. But some people, you know, things happen inside the malls that sometimes you might lose it because, you know, getting off the case because of the disrespect, the politics, and, you know, and sometimes people lose and sometimes people are blessed not to get in no trouble. And, yeah. And, um, yeah. That's hard. And I want, I want you to tell people, how was it for you? What, what were you feeling knowing that you weren't going to be there for your daughter's, I don't know, for, for her losing her first little baby too? You weren't gonna be there to actually be the tooth fairy. You weren't gonna be there to to see, I don't know, to see her actually menstruate because you know nowadays it happened at 9, 10, 11, 12, you know? You you saw her again when she was how old? She was bigger. She was bigger. <laughs> and what was that like for you when you actually saw her? And I don't want you to just tell me, oh, she was beautiful and big. No, like, what did you feel inside when you actually saw and said, oh, my God, this is my seed? What did you, what did you feel? How was that experience for you? Amazing. <coughs> like, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, like. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> it's, it's a live reality. So, uh, the only thing things that happen. was amazing. Amazing things happen. And a glass broke. Yeah. It's okay. But um, everything happens for a reason. That right. was a sign. You right. see what I'm saying? Like, right. I, I, I'm not trying to be like superstitious, but, no, I'm a little... you know, there's there's <laughs> things that happen. That's like a reality. Like something saying, God was saying he felt super amazing. I believe that. <laughs> That's what they say. Okay. But I, I, it was amazing. It was an amazing feeling, like, just to see her from one picture. Right. And then now see her li like live and direct. It was just like, damn. Okay. When that time that you saw her, is because she went on visitation or it was because you were already out? I was, I was out. I seen her already big when I was out. Mm. You know, when I was in at the beginning, you know, the chat, you know, seeing her small. Right. And et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, it got to a point in time I ain't see her for a certain amount of years. Right. Just at the ending of, the, of my time, I didn't see her for a couple of years, and then I see her live and direct. It's just like. Can I ask you why you didn't see her for a few years while you were in you know, prison? Mm -hmm. I guess I can say uh, it was a different type of states. What do you mean by that? I no, I don't know. I want you to tell me. Different states, and then, you know. Maybe the you know the mom you know because right. you guys were in different states. Yes, that can make it very difficult. Oh, I oh, oh, oh. Now, now, I mean, now I get it. Now I get it. No, I thought he was talking about like with different states. states like your, yeah, yes, no, no, they no, are no. mine. No, no, no. Oh, different okay. States. So they moved you. Okay, so yeah. you weren't when yeah. when. Okay, so tell us a little bit about that. Hold on. So they they take you to prison no, here. They didn't move you. Um, no, your daughter mother, and the mother, child, they, they, they moved, moved to, another to another state. So oh. it becomes difficult to be able to get here because we the, know the travel, that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, 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 it's tough. And right, exactly. Okay, okay, okay. But you kept in contact though, right? You would like speak to her a little bit over the phone or anything. How, yeah, what I want to know yeah, is there. when she saw you, she knew you were that? Leave it. <laughs> She's an algorithm, man. <laughs> oh, man. That's amazing. She's an algorithm. That's amazing. And she did so much like, yeah, no, like, his, <laughs> y'all don't even know. We're about to pull a picture. Like, like so, I, 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 we got to put something after. I'm going to hit y'all with a preview because it's like he had her. It's like 
He had her. Oh, she God. is that, definitely his clone. Daddy's little girl. <laughs> definitely daddy's little girl. And, and you're about to be a, a grandfather. Is it? You're a grandfather already. A grandfather. You're about, about to be, to be a, a grandfather again, again for the yes. second time. What a blessing, man. <laughs> you wow. know, at the end of the day, I always say, you know, um, these moments are beautiful when you do fuck up in life. And then God gives you a second chance. Because this is it. this is what it is. And it's a second it. chance and you take, take it. it. But you mm-hmm. take it because you accept. You take accountability, like my sister said earlier. Accountability for the fuck ups you done. We've all fucked up yeah, many man. times. Ain't no such thing as being perfect. Ain't nobody could tell me I haven't made a wrong decision ever. Because we've all done it. And shit, I still do it to today. And then I'd be like, shoot, I knew it. And then afterwards, I, I want to be mad. Like, oh, this shit happened. Bitch, you know what you was yeah, doing. You, man. you know it. We're human, human though. And That's we are thing. human. But yeah. the, the, the better parts are when you accept the reason why I'm doing this, and I want people to know, we he's not the, fir- the first person that's gone through this. Of course not. There's many. There's people that have done, no, there's people that are going through worse. He actually accepted. I committed the crime. I did this. There's people that really haven't committed the crime, and they're in prison right now. That That's that's a fact. That's, now, that's, that's a fact. That's fact. Sure. And that's messed up. That's but the way you look at things is, why am I going through this? What is the purpose? Everything that we go through in life has a purpose. Sure. Everything has a purpose. Either something's going to evolve, maybe it's going to happen in 10, 20, 50 years, but it has a purpose. Trust me. Yep. I believe that that's true. the way it works. I agree too. Um, <clears throat> now, was whatever you did, okay, well, you did that. Was it worth it? Like, was it worth the life you must contend with now? Was it worth the life? I understand what you're saying, but was it worth it? No, it wasn't worth it. Hell no, it wasn't worth it. Hell, fuck no. (laughs) Hell no, it wasn't worth it. Because like I said, they say when you try to keep up with the Joneses or when you start living a a certain type of life before you've gotten to the the part where you know you got to take a little journey and and everything was all good then right so it was good to do what you do right but then you take that transitioning of going through your trials and tribulations and then you come back home now you go back and think damn i don't care what nobody say that shit was worth that it, man. I would have, I would have just been a, a, a straight. Uh, exactly. I, I don't even. Whatever. I don't, you know, cause <laughs> I don't like to insult people. You no, feel me? no. But I rather, I, you know, in the, in the streets, they they say I rather would have been a square. Right. 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 I would rather button up yeah. right here, go get my nine to five, uh, go it. home and come. I, I, mean, I would have been a square. You know? Yeah. Mm, you I know mean, what I'm saying? Because it and, wasn't and, worth it, and it wasn't. And, worth and it at all. Again, as my sister says, the reason why she's, you know, this this idea came and and we're doing this too is so that a lot of people, I know a lot of young people out there that, you know, think, hey, you know, we can do this, this easy money, and this, no, is not worth it, my guy. Man, okay, because as long as you're everything's doing good, then you it think it's good. good. It, looks it looks good, good you know, and you think it's worth it, but really, my guy. Mm-mm. It looks good, but really in reality, if you're not there, you won't know because you have to be looking over yourself just to make this look good. And no, it ain't. I re- you rather you better off going to work, and you gotta look <laughs> over your back, and you gotta worry about nothing. That is true. Go work a nine to five. And I then, mean, you know? you know. But everybody to each their own. Right, right. So another question I have for you. <clears throat> If you can turn back the hands of time, would you? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Yeah. Okay, Man, okay, yes. okay. Okay, so you, would you have done something better? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, man. You know, my brothers also went to prison. You know what I'm saying? I was the only boy my mom had in the street. I was still going to high school, et cetera. I was a great football player. I was a great football player. I, I, 
I could have been on my way, you know, but I decided to turn to I got to get money because there's no man in the house but me. So I felt like, okay, forget this. I'm going to go get this because I got to take care of them. So it's like a cycle. My mom was a great mother. She ain't never indulged in nothing of me doing nothing bad. She didn't want me to live that life. So let's not get that misunderstood. My mama wasn't uh, rooting for that lifestyle. Right. right. But right. she knew that I, you know, he's going to do what he's going to do. But at the same time, there's only so much a mother can do that it's a father's job to do. And I didn't have my father. I didn't have my big brother. So I only looked for the homies in the street, you know, chilling with the homies on the block or whatever, et cetera, et cetera. So those were the ones I was really, you know what I'm saying? So at that time, everybody is just like, shit, let's get money. Get money. It's all about getting money. Mm -hmm. Doing what you got to do to get money. So it's like, okay, damn. Mom, and I don't want to see them struggle. My sister, I got niece and nephew. And at that time, too, I'm like, no, nah, I can't do that. I got to go do what I got to do. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know. Then, do you regret it? If I could turn back and not do that, and, and I would have listened to the advices from the ones that, you know, the poor ones that really were yeah, I would have listened to the advice. I do regret it at times. Right, but um, if you can take back the hands of time. Now we're not taking back the time because now we're here at this present moment. Exactly. So now today, do you regret what you did then? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah now let me ask you a little question. You know, piggybacking yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, no, right, I mean... Okay. So let's say, when come in. <laughs> they say, let's man. say, hey, we gotta let the people it's like know. The, it's like the okay, Doberman twins. It's like the Doberman twins, the Doberman twins, the Doberman twins, but like the Spanish birds, like the Cuban birds. You got the American birds, you got the Latino birds. Y'all are Latino Doberman twins. Okay, okay, but okay, but look, look, look. If you were only in there, let's say, let's say, you would have got caught. But it would have only been for a little bit, right? Bam, like a little slap in the hand, uh -uh, you know? And you had fun doing the crime. Would you regret it then? You always gonna regret it, you know why? Mm. Cause every second, every hour, and every minute that you miss of a day that you can't see your family's face, mm. or your daughter, your mama, whatever, mm -hmm. you gonna regret it, man. Okay. And when you used to live in a, a, a life that if you're family orientated get let's let's get this understood okay if you're family orientated okay that shit's gonna hurt you, okay. you. if you're not family orientated and you just living la vida loca <laughs> and doing what you do and you know if your your mom's call your daughter and you hey i'm out that night nah, but you know man my family comes first before anything because mm -hmm. see you got hustlers Right. That provide for their family, and you got hustlers that just want they just want to be keeping up with the Joneses to be fly. Right. I'm. I. I, I don't You're consider myself. I got to make sure my family straight. Right. So, I'm family orientated, man. So, my family, shit. An hour. <laughs> I'm gonna be on that phone. Yo, what's up? <laughs> the bond or something? <laughs> Give me some. Yo, go get it. But it, that's it's that shit is real, man. That shit is family is everything, man. That shit you an hour, two hours, three hours. They tell you you gotta go to get a rest and stop by because somebody else they ain't got a license and then you gotta go sit in the county jail and then, and the time is going by. You got kids and my daughter or my wife or or my husband because you know it men like went like men go to jail women, women go to jail go to so jail you know yeah, right. if you're family ordered you gonna think about that absolutely you now you gonna say fuck it they caught me it is what it, it, is, what it is right mm -hmm. i get you and um let's talk let's touch a very important subject because he spoke a lot about his mom and yeah. so um yeah. how how was it um dealing with the fact that your mom died like 
that 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 right there. That's like, what happened, right? Yeah, that right. is what happened. I mean, I mean, for those of you who don't know, which is all of you guys actually, because um, we don't know him, and we're finding out now. Um, so tragically, a few days before he's actually gonna be free and he's finally getting out, his mom passes away, and um, we found out. At the same time, I mean, he was still in there. We were out here, but we hear the story because she was she was like a mom to us too. It is such a, a love loving lady, and and it hurt us so much. But what hurt us the most was the fact that we were like, oh my god! And for all of us that have a mom and a dad or parents, imagine being in a place such as the one he was in, and not not being able. So <coughs> so like. Not being able to go, you he didn't get to see his mom alive, and and I I would like for you to tell the people a little bit about that experience because again, this is this is to me just a really big journey that you've gone through. the The obstacles that they put in your way were were beyond insane, but yet you still you still look so great. Your, your spirit, your heart is in the right place. You ha you're in the right mindset and you're still, you still have this urge of accomplishing and acquiring your goals. And, and, and that's, that's kind of like, what the fuck? Like, how is it that you, tell us a little bit about that experience. Cause me, myself, and I've gone through shit, but I can't, I can't see myself God forbid, you know, God, losing my mom and me being locked up and then I couldn't even get to see her it's again. Tough. What was that like, it's Mike? It's tough because, um, like, three days before that, I was talking to her. and But the crazy thing is her conversation was different. You know, I feel like when people know they're going to transition to another world, they try to prepare themselves. You know, I'm a firm believer on that. Cause when a person won't know when they when when they out of there. And I was talking to her. Conversation was, you know, like, you know, I love you. You know, you're my baby boy. I don't know, like, you're like, yo, man, listen, we about to drink us some wine when I get out of here, man. It's, I'm dying to see you. Like, she be like, nah, I know what she kept, you know, laughing. My, she be like, yeah, but I still want you to understand, like, you know. Your brothers and sisters is all you got. You my only baby, like you gotta make sure that you need to take care of yourself. You gotta do what you gotta do when you get out. I said, shit, you gonna be there soon? What you what you talking, man? Like you she just like, no, I know, I know, I'm gonna be here, but I want you to focus, you know, things I had to do religiously and get myself on the track. So I was like, all right, cool. But the conversation stayed in my head. Mm-hmm. So one morning I woke up and um It was like the like the third day because it, it it was something that you guys gonna you know, I'm gonna explain to you what happened and it's crazy. I talked to her on the thirteenth of March. When did you find out you were going out? You were getting out. I had a due date on March sixteenth. Okay. And um when I was inside, they was like, okay, you, the date is March 16th. Okay. So I said, okay. And you found this out, what, a week before? A week before. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, I was just, I was preparing all my things to go home, et cetera, et cetera. So, okay, it was on the 13th, and I was talking to her. We had that conversation. That same 16th, when I already had all my stuff ready, ready to go home, I I get an email and um, it's a, my nephew telling me to um, hit me back, text me back. So I'm like, damn. So I was standing with one of my homeboys and I like automatically said, my mom. started saying, I got bubble guts, bro. I don't want to call home. Mm. And he was like, no, nah, go ahead. Go ahead, call home. I was like, man, listen, I think it's my mom, bro. He was like, man, you tripping. Go ahead, man, call. So I'm like, damn. I said, hell no, man. Hey. So I'm having my mom, bro. 
And he was like, bro, why you tripping? I said, dog, three days ago, my mom had a conversation. Like, she was trying to let me know, like, take care. She was saying, take care of your brothers. You're the smallest. You're the, you're the livest. You know, your niece and nephews need you, your daughter, et cetera. I'm like, and he was like, man, that's something. I was like, yeah, but that conversation didn't sit right. Yeah, it was different. It was different. Right. And I felt it. So he said, go ahead, call it. I'm going to stay here. I got on the phone and I told my nephew, what's up? You straight? What happened? He said, like, yo, I got to talk to you, but I need you to be cool because, um, I'm like, yo, just get to the point. What's up, man? Like, we're like, man, Theo, I just want you to know that we need you. And et cetera, et cetera. So I'm like, man, what? What's wrong with you? Like, man, I ain't say something. We're like, abuelita. I said, what? He said, Theo, she died. I'm like, what? I said, you gotta be kidding me. So it was like, I'm looking at the phone. Be like, huh? But I could hear him like, you know, we need you and you need to get home. And he like, I told you because nobody wanted to tell you, but I don't want you to come home and you expecting grandma wherever you're expecting her them for to pick you up and you don't see her. And then you have to hear the news I hear. He got home, my sister got on the phone, right? You know, whatever. That was like, why you told him, man? And, and, you know, he said his piece, and I and I, I thank my nephew to this day. Oh, well, yeah, right. You know what I'm <laughs> that took a so, lot of courage, so, so, like, so, I, You know, yeah. my that oldest, took a lot of courage. You know, one of my oldest sister that, you know, she also passed away <sighs> last year. You know, she told me, like, mom, because that was my second mom, my sister, that passed away. She was like, man, mom died, but I need it, you know, like, I couldn't take it no more. Like when they told me that, and I ain't gonna lie, you know, some people say no nah, because man, you know, man, listen, man, I broke down to my knees. What do you mean, man? Like, you need to cry. Everybody needs to nah, cry. Nah, but this ain't a normal cry. No. When I tell you, I broke down. No. I broke I down. Like it. they had to literally take me to a medical center because I I felt like my soul came out of my body. You feel me? And then they get called. Why you going through all this? This is the turnaround of this story. I'm supposed I got all my luggage. You're supposed to be coming out. Supposed to be coming home, and them people told me we changed your date, oh, and you won't be going home today. I was like, what? Yeah. I said, y'all taking my date? I said, my mom just died. Like today, like they said, they changed your date. And they snatched my date away, and they let they didn't let me go home that day. And they even you saying that mom, your mom had yeah, died. They, you know, it, they changed my date to June six. <gasps> that same from so that March sixteenth to June six. That same day my mother died, they took my date. I was supposed to go home March sixteenth, two thousand eighteen. And um, they and, took um, my date. And what's their explanation? They said, you know, when you come out, you go to like a transitioning home called the halfway house. Mm. You know, everybody that's transitioning back into society. Right. They send you there. So supposedly. It was full. They didn't have no bed space or they gave a bed, my bed to somebody else. So basically that just rumbled everything up in my mind. So it was, I was going through too much. But the worst pain about everything in this time, you know, as the conversation in this podcast, we talked and everything. Out of all this pain, you know, I love my daughter. I love my sisters. I love my whole family. But the most pain from all this is my mom. Like that? You know, like, that was like my, my, my rock. Mm-hmm. And um, to like kind of know that you coming home and she's not there. That's a tough pill to swallow. That's mm-hmm. why I be like, you think this shit worth it? And um, they don't do those things like when you're in, like when you're in like jail. Like furloughs. Yeah, right. To go see the right. funeral. No. They don't do stuff like that. So nah, that's all they, like in know, movies and in Netflix and shit. You know, there was there's only certain levels of security that they let you go. Uh huh. And um, I was in a federal prison, so there's there's only certain like like the campers that they're out custody 
Mm-hmm. And even at that, sometimes they don't let them go. So you have to just chuck it up and then keep it moving and see her when you get out or see him when you get out. Oh, my God. You know, type stuff. But, you know, so it's like there's no win. So you got to take that pain and swallow it and try to deal with it the most you can because... But it's not the same pain, man. There's only two pains that will hurt the most of a person in prison, a man or a woman. That either your mother dies or you have a child out there that just got killed, you know, because of something, you know, whether it's an accident or whether a, a straight bullet or something like that. Because I've seen plenty of fathers in there that got sons that they get ready to go home and they, his son just got killed. It, it's, 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 it's not, it's not easy, man. It's, it's not easy. It's, it's, it's. People look at it from the outside and figure, okay, they're in prison, whatever. But you don't know the pain that prisoners go through too. too. Like, there's a we day in that you go to sleep and wake up. We feel pain because we want to be home. And then when things like that transpire, but when you get a pain as far as losing your a mother, three days about to go home, they take your day, so now you ain't going home. That's a lot to deal with, so I had to just, you know, I don't want to work out no more. I don't want to eat no more. I was just like, my whole body went dead. Like sometimes people that I knew, you know, my homies used to come and be like, man, you got to get up. Let's go walk this yard. Or your mic, you got to, you got to eat, bro. You got to, and I was like, man, I don't want to do nothing but lay in this bed and sleep this shit away because I don't got no type of energy. I don't got no type of nothing. So, this shit is tough, you know. And to this day, not only that, then come home and lose a sister. It's like, it's like the, like you get immune to pain. Right. So, Right. You try to deal with it the best way you can, but still, at the end of the day, that shit hurts. So you gonna Absolutely. think about it because you be like, "Fuck!" And a time a moment for a man, you know what I'm saying? And I know for women too, but you know, like, you know, they say the girls are always for the dads and the boys are always for the moms and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But a mom give the best advice in the world, whether you a daughter or a man, you know what I'm saying? Like to me, that's the only woman that ever gave me the best advice in my whole life that even when I was inside, that kept me out the way. Right. You know, so to come home and not know that you're not gonna have that no more. Yeah. It's that's like, definitely even in relationships, you know, you got a mom and you're in a relationship, you do, but mom, I don't even know what you have to, ah, oh, you be like, no man, you on her side, like, no, I ain't on her side, I'm just telling you, I'm giving you, I'm giving you what it is, cause I'm a woman, and you be like, man, all oh, that, you know how, you know us, man, how we get, but then when you sit down and realize it, you be like, wow, I love this bitch, man. <laughs> this bitch keep it real, man. That's, that's what I love, that's my bitch, that, that, that's my everything, cause she gonna keep it real, right. but she the way tell she's gonna you. tell you, right. you gonna feel it. Right. Say nothing like a mother love, man. Right. You feel me? But I don't wish that shit on nobody, man. No. I'm no. I'm gonna be real, man. Like, if I can give any young kid advice right now, right. I would tell them that ain't it. You understand know what I'm saying? That ain't it. That ain't the life. You brother off, go to school, get an education. Right. Take a trade. Right. Learn something. Go off to college if you have to. Right. And become an engineer, a lawyer, or an a entrepreneur, football player, or an entrepreneur. Work for yourself. If you like fashion, I mean, you know, go to fashion yeah, school. Right, right, right. If you like cars for mechanic, right. go to mechanic school. Right. And don't get me wrong, prison offered a lot of these things. A lot mm-hmm. of people don't understand. Prison offered a lot of good programs in the feds. They if you don't have a high school diploma, you get a high school diploma. Right. If you want to take HVAC, like um, right. heating and air conditioner air courses, right. they give it to you, electricity. Electrical. So right. 
they also but, it's it's a crazy place right but it's to them it's like still a re rehabilitation place to where okay while you're in here you're gonna be conservative of your time mm -hmm. so you're gonna take these courses right, and you're to try to see something. learn something right and see if you can change because i wish i would have brought my photo right. i took a lot of those courses it's just mm -hmm. when you have a passion for other things right you just have a passion for other things, but you're proud of yourself because you can say, "I was in here. I took this course. Right. And if the day tomorrow I want to do something, you got a certificate. You know, I got a certificate. And if I have to do anything else to get it right, right back, you go take another school and whatever, whatever to add on to whatever." But. Okay. Lord knows I needed a co-host today because I haven't. You you've seen how quiet I've been with this because I've been trying to get back to me because of that. I'm super dramatic, and I'll do that. So I've been trying to get back, like, you the best. Yo, stop, do your thing. Just listen. Don't you know, be melodramatic. Don't knot, overdo the it. On the, on the throat, in the throat. Yeah, the knot in the throat, and then you sound nervous and shit. So um, I, I really feel, before we wrap this up, I really feel that um, this is a story that had to be put out there to the world. This is something that had to be told, had to be known. Um, because it's it's a reality. It's a true story. It's something that that he lived and and it's it's part of him for life. There's nothing that he can do to really take back what he did. He he can't he can't re get his daughter again and just put her at one again. He can't just have his mom here. We wish we could. But at the end of all of this, one, I have to say thank you so much, so, so, so very uh, much, my thank brother, you. for being part of this no. movement that I'm, out, trying to, that I'm no. trying to do thank here you. with the world. It's just us paying it forward. No, We've all saying. been through a lot, and, I've, so. and I, I figured out, you know, I've been in the medical field for many years, but God sent me a message one day, and when he left me in, crippled in a bed for a few months, <laughs> He told me, you're, you're trying to act like a nurse or you try to go to school to be a doctor because you want to help people, but the hospital is too little for you. So God told me, no, you're not doing the hospital. You got to do a little more. You got to be an entrepreneur. You got to put it out there because the world the, 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 the world has to know more and, 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 and I could give you guys more. And this is part of it. It's it's me paying it forward because we today is his story. Um, I've told you about my story. Uh, the next one is gonna be about her story. We all have an individual story sure. to tell, and we're gonna Everyone put it out there story to tell. because. For the fake shit, we got the TV, the commercials, the movies, yeah. Sure. But really, I we I think the reality is is what what gives us that energy. It's what helps us relate with one another. So before we leave, really quick, I do want you to tell people what are you, what are you doing now? What are you doing now with your life? What what do you want to do? What are your goals? What do you aspire to be? Do you have any goals? Do you feel like that's it for you now? Because a lot of people, I do hear this a lot. A lot of people get arrested, they have a, a record, and now they can't find a job. Now they can't whatever. So so before we go, just tell us a little bit about what is it that you're doing now? What do you like to do? I, I mean, I know it. I, I can start saying a few, a few of your talents, but I want you to, to more or less tell people because I want you to tell people because a lot of people come out of prison they're like yeah I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get a job no more I'm not gonna be able to do this I'm not that's what a lot of people think right and it's surprising that I don't see that in in what has happened to you so tell us a little bit before we close it off what are you what are you about right now what are your goals what do you what do you what do you think you're gonna do or what do you think you're gonna end up doing be real. You don't never tell all your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't no, tell the secret. No, just give no, them a little no, sneak no, peek. There's no. I just want y'all to know, you know, because we all we grew up together, and um, y'all seen him since we was adolescents growing up. You know, journey whatever. Just know that, you know, I am working. Good job. Okay. You know. That's a good okay. thing. That's a so good that's thing. a good you thing. Know. So you could get. So Enjoy. everybody that comes out from it, you know, the judicial system and feel like this is hard. No, it's not hard. You got to go out there and want to do it. Right. 
You want you right. you got to go out there and that and, and, part. and and fight <laughs> for you know getting yourself back right again. Right. Did you get that? You know, <laughs> it's not hard. It's easy. But you got to want to put you gotta forth want effort. It. You got to want it. You got to want right. it. If you come out you here, you got like, to want yeah, it. If you don't want it, you ain't gonna get it. Mm-hmm. But and then it's it, gonna lead you. But back. then after wanting comes one thing. <laughs> What's the, what's the one thing? What, what you gotta have? What you gotta have in one word? Believe. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> believe in yourself. You gotta, you gotta believe. believe in yourself because he wants it. You but know. we all want it. All you want know it. how many people, how many of us don't want to be rich? Yeah. I want the lotto. Listen, right. How many Listen, of us really believe people. we're yeah. gonna be rich? Uh, There's a difference. Is, see, part. I came home, mm-hmm. I went through a lot of jobs, but I didn't quit. There you go. I, I worked here. It was like Martin. You remember that episode of Martin? And I went to the, yeah, you feel me? Like, <laughs> when he went to that rehab. Yeah, they, yeah <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? They grow the hair. Yeah. And all that crazy shit. Yeah, 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 <laughs> but I went through multiple jobs here, lost it here, went right. here, and look at the end of the day, I didn't stop. Right. Quick there shit. Same day I got fired from a job, I got hired to a better job, which I am there now. There you go. Going on two years. How many times hasn't that happened though? That you get fired because it's happened. It's happened in my life. You you know, and you're like, oh my god, and then yeah. it's like God saying, hey, I needed to, you know, right? Do but, but it's but, easy. But this is the thing, this though. This is easy. But, when but you the get thing, fired to com- compared to a person right. that comes out from the system I that got it. a number, right? Right. That's how the system is. But if you come home, like I said, I got things, and you know, can't tell my secret, but yeah. You know, down the road, like I said, I love doing music. Like I said, down the road, I want to see if, you know, I want to talk to, like, the youth. You know what I'm saying? Do I got to make my little research and everything to get to do that maybe down the road? I want to be able to talk to the youth because everybody needs a man for guidance. Right. You know, especially young boys. There's right. only so much a woman can do. Right. But when you're a male, whether you know the kid or you don't know the kid, a male figure is a male figure. It plays a big part. So... I would love to, you know, be somewhat like an outreach speaker and stuff like that, you know, businesses. And the way I see it is you're going to make it happen because oh, what, I, what I see in this man is that he sees um, a glass with water in it. But instead of him seeing it half empty, he sees it a half full. Yes. So as long as you see if I tell you right now and I hold this and it's up to here, how is it? Half empty or half full? How do you see it? It's full. Half full. Half full, not half empty. That's what I see in him. He might not even see it, but that's what's happening with him. The way that he sees life is, okay, it happened, what happened, happened, but I believe in me, I believe in what I want, and I'm going to go get it. So you can't you can't put yourself down because you committed a crime you can't let yourself go because you're being judged you can't let yourself go because you fucked up more than once or multiple fucking times it happens the point is come to that realization if you come to the realization and you have acceptance you accept what you did right or what you did wrong then you ain't got nothing to worry about man listen Ain't nobody better than you, so I really don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like nobody's better than me because I don't feel like I'm better than nobody. So at the end of the day, I don't care how you feel. Right. I'm going to keep doing me, and then whatever time it take me to grind to get to where I need to get, I'm going to do that. Right. But eventually, I'm going to get to where I'm going to get and where I want to get. So I'm not even worried about that. You got to fight for yours. You know, and that's what I tell everybody, bro. Don't worry about what nobody else's opinion. If it takes you three years, but it takes him six months, man, wait them three years and wait till you, but when you get it, you're going to be satisfied because you put your blood, sweat, and tears in it and you took your time because he may not have it how he wants to, but you going to have it how you want to. Right. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So really, man, I, I'm blessed, man. I'm I'm just thankful that I'm home. I made it home with one piece, you know, 
I still got this couple of friends that are really the real ones that I still interact with. You understand what I'm saying? And others that I see through them, I still just wave at them and Thank try to be know. humble. You know? That's the way to go. That's the yeah. message, guys. I mean, go through whatever you go through, embrace it, and take it as a lesson learned because that's what life is. Life is just a, a, a path full of lessons for you to actually get to what you wear and what you want to get to. You know, um, think like a genius. Don't think like a smart person. Um, a smart person does what they want to do. Okay, so I want to do this right now. He was smart before. That's what I think. He wanted to do that right now, huh? but a genius does what they have to do. There's a difference. And this is what I see in him today. I see nothing but a genius sitting here in front of me and, and I give thanks to God because he made it through that path. He's still here. He still has health. He's still sane. He's still in control of his mind. And, and he has just so much to give, so much positivity, so much. His energy is just amazing. And I'm sure you guys felt the vibe through here. I am going to leave his um, social media information oh um, and my sisters as well. We always leave it in the credits and we're going to put it somewhere in the bottom. You're going to see it pop up somewhere there when my sister, Eileen, our graphic designer, does her magic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it runs in the family. It, we all do it all. We do it all. So if you want to do something in life, oh, but I don't have, what, what you mean you don't have? No, it, we, what you have, you the talent. So you got everything yeah, else. We got it here. I thank you for the day, though. I thank her for the day. All I <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna be real. You know, I, I, you know, thank y'all for inviting me to the, you know, to the thank podcast. You. Thank it you for was, sharing it was, a, your story. it was a good vibe with y'all. Thank you for having sharing. a drive way out here. <laughs> I feel like I never was gonna get here. You know, hey, they fed. You know, they feed you at these podcasts. So, you know, y'all, hey, y'all tune in though. They good vibe over here. But I got a quote. On my chest. Yes. It's a it's like a quote for Martin Luther King. That's how we're gonna end this. That 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 <laughs> I never forgot about it and it goes for everybody. And he said, It's not the loudest voice of your enemies that you remember during hard times, but the silence of your friends. Do your math and and listen to what I just said. And I did my math and I see what Martin Luther King was talking about. It's not the mm -hmm. loudest voice of your enemies that you yeah. remember during hard times. But the silence of your friends. Jeez. Wow. It, it was deep, but I that I kept that, mm -hmm. that that I kept that quote, and I put it on my chest. I tatted it on my chest, and and it's everything that has a message behind that is true, and everybody has to apply it to it, because sometimes you can hear your enemies barking loud, mm -hmm. but when you need that friend over with but yeah. thank y'all thank you very welcome thank you we're gonna end this cheers. with another cheers you better grab that cup Let's cheers go. some more yes. life positivity cheers. energy Yo, cheers cheers, Yo, cheers. cheers. Yo, sir, therapy cheers. session Guys, yeah, thank thank we're here you. we're here positive energy see you in the next segment Woo. <laughs> I hope you got all of that <laughs> did you get that <laughs> All right, so we're going to end this like this. You know, every time I end one of my videos, I say I'm out. So we're going to say one, two, three. I'm out. She tell me that she's feeling me. She says she love my style. My dog is way she want to be with me. She love calling me Bobby. She love the way I give it up. Playing in my blood, baby girl, you need to live it up. She love calling me Bobby. I told her, what do you want from me? She said I want everything and I want it with you. She love calling me Bobby. Forever till they lay it down. If you love it, you just turn around and go. Don't make a sound. Check it out, mommy. Let me know what's your name. She said, whatever you want, Bobby. You drive me insane. Oh, yeah. Let's take it back to the crib. I want to taste all that dip. Girl, don't trip. Talking about don't let go. You ready to take all this dick. You want that butter love with a